Hey guys. Hey guys. What's happening? What's happening? Good to see you. Really nice TV and fireplace. Very nice. You said, I know, right? Yeah, that's that's. I know. I'm like. Dang. We're very new to this. Okay, this whole Instagram live thing. You did very good. I see. It looked like you got a whole crew back there, but there. I know, man. Thank God. All right, cameraman, yeah, turn the lights down a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we have, yeah, we brought the whole crew. <laughs> right. Hey, guys, how you doing? We're great. Well, you're looking great. You're looking happy. Thank you. You too. I was listening when I was, I was like, ooh, I like when she's spicy. That's my kind of lady. <laughs> she's like, what? Yes. Ooh, I baby, you got to drink. Yeah, we just, just, a, just a little baby bit of champagne, you know. I know, I know. She normally has her bubbly. I know. Like yeah, yeah. With my mom. <laughs> cool. You guys are keeping safe, right? Yes. Yes, cool, cool, yes, cool. yes. So my, now look, here, so here's the format. We're going to uh, we're going to talk a little bit and and catch. We've already introduced you guys. Oh, and, sorry. That's oh. Puppy. He got she got shots today, so she's a little tender. Oh, what is that? It's, it's a puppy. Yes, she is a 100% uh, Humane Society Rescue Mutt. Yes. Aww. That's the only way. The Have no only caution. way. But For she's ours. She's a mutt? <laughs> yeah. It was Ella, my daughter's birthday present. Oh, so. Is she little? I want to see her. Here, come here, Kunti. Her name is Kunti. Oh, my God. Aww. Okay, I see a little pit. Yeah. No, what is that? It, well, we know her mom, I think, was a chihuahua. That's uh, and we don't know what else she was mixed with. Yeah, I think she's a Powawa. Powawa. Pu <laughs> <laughs> but she's a hundred percent lap dog. That's for sure. Yeah, she looks like she has some Shih Tzu and Pit Bull. Uh, okay, Mel, okay, I'll leave that alone. We'll be out. Yeah. Okay, oh, leave I'm it alone. No, no, yeah, I'll just leave it alone. I'll just leave it alone. Oh, Very cool. Very cool. Well, guys, look, we introduced you guys. We told we told all our, our people about some of the stuff that you guys you guys have coming up, which is really really cool. Congrats yeah. on your movie this weekend. Thank you. Can't wait. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's really different from anything that I've done before. Like I think this is my first kind of suspensey yeah. type situation. So it was it was a lot of fun for sure to do. That's uh, so cool. Tempted so by things. It's always fun to like that. Stuff. And when she's in stuff getting attacked, because I'm sitting here looking at the screen like ready to fight the screen. I I'm know, like, right, dude? <laughs> That's what I'm talking you, about. You know how this works. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And Brad, you got some stuff coming up too, man. I know um um a house what is divided. It, uh, oh yeah, no, a house divided, man. Yeah, yeah, season two coming at the end of the month. I'm gonna be doing a takeover for UMC, uh, which is where that aired. So I encourage everybody to get caught up on season one because it's a lot of material. It's Dude, uh, yeah, I know, man. I know we saw we saw um, season one. We have to finish season one. Actually. I have to finish season one. I'll survive it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yep. yeah. We had, you said what you say, Keisha? I have to finish it too because someone said I couldn't watch it. Oh really? I'm watching it. Don't I know? Worry. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I, let's not that's talk how you about it. I do stuff by saying she can't. You can't do that. <laughs> that's how I make sure. Okay. That's cool. Somebody said, Keisha and Brad, you guys are a beautiful couple. Hey, I agree. I do agree. Yeah, and that's, that's actually a good segue because we're on here tonight to talk about love let's talk about you know, relationships. When, when you've been in the game as long as we have, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, no. Oh, you've been in the game. Oh, God. Well, okay, look. Okay. Well, let's talk a little about us. Okay. We can do that. We, we actually are. You, we're second time. Okay. That so means married the second time. Both yeah, we both been married before, also. Like, oh, okay, 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 cool. So you get it. I, I actually, I think that it's better, like once you've been married, because you know what you are. You're very clear in what you don't desire. Yeah. So yeah. it makes it so much clearer when you see what it is you do want. Yeah. And, yeah. Excuse me, and then you also know what you're getting into. <laughs> like you know, when you're younger, you're sold this fairy tale of what marriage should be. Exactly. I feel like once you've been married and it, you have been divorced, you have a very different perspective and you understand yeah. the work that goes into it yeah. and the difference in the work because people are like, oh, marriage is hard. But no, 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 no. Some of that stuff, that just means it's not the one for you. 
It's right. not that hard. Mm -hmm. But no. it does mean that you have to have two people who actively desire to be here, who want to work at it, who want to make each other happy and make each other a priority. Yeah. Because when you do that, you know, you can be successful. Come on, girl. You're, you're preaching now. Yeah. yeah. Marriage, is, marriage is easy. People are difficult. You know? Oh, that's <laughs> that's true. That's the thing. People are the ones who are, who are difficult. Yeah. It's, it's tough. Yeah. Do you find, do you guys find that, um, like, when you, like, you've been married before, we've been married before. I know with us, like, when I didn't want to date, but he wanted to date me. Um, but he was, da he, in his mind, it was dating with a purpose. Yeah. Do you find, like, now, after you've been married, and like you said, you've lived a, a, a little bit of life before, like, you date with a purpose now? You know, I'll let you answer that one. Um, Come on, B. I'll say for me, I think everybody does everything with a purpose. What I mm -hmm. think changes is your purpose. So that probably is what changes over the years. So if you have different intentions, you're going to do different things. So if you're in yeah. something for the short term, you make different decisions than you do if you're there for the long term. You just do. Right. And that's, that's in business, that's in arts, that's in whatever we're doing. So especially it carries over to relationships, which is, you know, our, our, the romantic partner that we choose is probably the one thing that gets interwoven into every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. Oh, you God, know? yeah. It's, it's really important. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I, I remember when, when I met her, um, you know, she, I, I was staring at her, actually. That I, was, I was being a creeper. And, uh, hey, it is what it is. You know, hey, am I right? <laughs> I'm serious. I walked out of a building and, and I was staying. Actually, the church. It was the church. Oh my it God, the, the church. Steps of mm. the church. Mm. And, and I walked out and she was standing there and I was just, you know, I was kind of mesmerized. Well, I was. And um, a mutual friend stopped us both and said, Cal, stand here, and then told her to stand there. And she literally put us together and said, here, you two need to meet. And, wow. and she rejected me. You I know. did. I thought he was arrogant. I was confident. I did. I mistook his confidence for it was arrogance. Con it was confidence. Yeah. yeah, later on I found out it, well, it was. Well, okay. I, 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 I had to admit, it was, it was confidence. I told her, she told me, she said, what did you say, honey? She said, I don't, um, I'm only looking for a friend. And I'm like, look, we grown, we people. You know, at, at our age, ain't nobody, I mean, what's friends? You know, I don't need any friends. I told her I have good friends. I'm not taking any new applications. And so um, I did. She said, uh, well, that's all I have. And I said, you know, you like me. You really like me. You just don't want to admit it. You just don't know it. But that was arrogance. I thought not oh. it was the truth. No, no he was, he was he's, a, he's a fisherman, see? Come on. Hunter. He was, he was fishing. <laughs> you know, if you, if you cast, if you cast that little line right up under the boat, you ain't going to catch talk, it. Talk, talk, Brad. You know what I mean? <laughs> talk, Brad. He had to, he had to cast that Speak line back. long. He had to lay into it. That's, yeah, that's, Hilarious. that's, that, that's that good fisherman. He knew so, what he was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The funny story, because I posted, I put a post up letting people know that we were going to be on talking to you guys. And apparently i didn't realize this but we would met like we'd crossed paths before we did um pride and prejudice with the the movie that how we met but yeah. we never like met met before then like i'm not gonna lie i didn't remember meeting him before pride and prejudice but it was on the movie that you know he did the whole yeah you know um Yes, His Mac move. Listen, let me Go tell talk. you what Tell them what really what happened. Because I want, want y'all to feel it, like to come feel what, what actually happened. Come on, come on. We were shooting a scene, mm -hmm. right? We walking into a church. It's mm -hmm. how it open. Oh, my gosh. The, the pathway is smooth. The church is full of extras. Everybody's in there waiting. Hold on, you're froze. You're frozen. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We're in the middle of the story. You're frozen. Okay, you were playing brother and sister. That's right. That's right. Duh, yeah. You married him and Rainey. Well, the other one of the other girls, that her name really is Rainey. So mm -hmm. in the one of the opening scenes of the That's movie right. is we were walking in together into the church. So go ahead. 
Right, exactly. I remember, yeah. right. We're, we're walking into the church. It's our first time being seen. Everybody's, you know, waiting on us to enter. Room full of people. The room, church is packed, right? Room full of people. This one trips over nothing and falls into my arms. Are you serious? Keisha, that Keisha, that was a player move. He did catch me because I was about to bite it really hard. And I did trip walking over, in. Over nothing. I don't know. There was, yeah. there, was, there was something. I don't know what it was, but there was something. Girl, you tripped over love. <laughs> she tripping, but I can't handle <laughs> Barrel. You tripped over Cupid's right. arrow. Cupid so stuck his big toe out there, girl. Right. But that's now right. it's, a running, it's a running joke. Like whenever I'm working or whatever, um, he's like, "If you trip, you better fall." I'm like, <laughs> that's what I'm what saying. That? Don't let nobody catch you. Don't let nobody catch you. Just tuck and roll. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. You okay, know. okay, okay. I want to know. I want to oh, know. Excuse me. So after she tripped over nothing and she <laughs> fell into your arms. What was your Mac move after that? Like, what was it that kind of like sealed the deal? Maybe she like... felt his biceps. <laughs> no, wait, that isn't when it sealed the deal. Come on, now he fell into her arms and he flexed. Right. It was right. done. Go ahead. All right, so. Well, I don't know. Maybe we just get going. No, go ahead. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to say all this, but, you know, I, I caught her. You know, and I think she whispered a little something in my oh, ear. Oh, now he's just <laughs> exaggerating. I, I think it was something like, don't let me go. I, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> don't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was probably thank you. <laughs> thank you for not letting, for making sure I didn't fall. But no, that, that was funny. Mm -hmm. But we did, like, honestly, we just hit it off. Like, you know, we had a lot of downtime. There was a lot going on filming that project. So, you know, there were plenty of times where we would all just be sitting in the cast uh, seats or the van or, you know, the what have you, and just talking, just even kind of how we did. No, let me yeah. tell you who we are. We are expert people watchers. <laughs> so the good, the bad, and the ugly, whatever we saw going around us, we could talk about. And wow. I don't think that's changed at all. No, it hasn't. Yeah. That is so cool. But that is very did. cool. But he did say, hey, yeah, we should get together. I have this script that I want you to read. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I have a script, you know, that I've written that I'd love for, to get your feedback on to. He's like, oh, give me your phone. Let me put. So this phone. Not ah, so that was a number. I should have used that. That oh, was your line. Give me your phone. Yo, 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 yo. Put an ID and put his birthday, his, his <laughs> email. <laughs> Brad, to hit my mama number. That's yeah, my right. number. That's right. <laughs> Did you not? I filled out the survey. The sur I opened it That's up. I got that information. Was there. Was she gonna need this? She gonna need that? Uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, at all the world that ends well. Yeah. And, and, and we read those scripts. <laughs> we did. We yeah, yo, did you really? <laughs>